Well, hello, this is Jimmyism Total Notary Channel, and this is from the depth, and we are doing a first look of the game. And this game was actually given to me by Super Scarab 120. And well, I've said it to you, but I say to everyone that I'm most grateful for this gift, so thank you very much again. So, <laughs> This is the first time the Gmodism Total Nerdery channel receives a Christmas gift. So, we're... thank you very much. And we will have a little first look of the game. I have tried uh, to understand the building of this game. Um, but, uh, well, I don't think I understood it all. So, I guess we just begin a new campaign then. And now, um, I don't know if I will make a playthrough or something of this game or not, I have no idea. Um, or if I'm going to wait for, uh, well, basically this game being more developed, because it's a game in development. And as you know, I'm already um, doing the in-development Star Maid. But I don't know, we will basically see what we do. And so far I think this is an awesome game. Um, last time I tried to uh, fix AI turrets I failed, even though I got some uh, info from uh, my friend Nick, that you might have seen around in the comments section. Um, but, uh, well, I guess it's not so hard when you understand it. I mean, everything is hard when you start. Uh, that includes, like, Star Maid is hard when you start, but then you realize it's actually a very simple game. Whoops, now we fall down. Oh no. No. I need to... No. Okay. Where am I? Alright. Um, I think I just understood how to build the AI. And I also realized that my record button is the same as the switch of the hood button. Fantastic, I need to just fix that. Alright, now then, we see the full hood. And we can basically... Well, we can go in and out of build mode. And then we can switch from first person view to third person view. We should get out of this seat. And I got a pistol. Oops. And I got a thunderbus. And I got a path view. Oh, yes. Now then, um, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that we basically should build ourselves a ship and then go out. And what is this? Oil drill and resource gatherer. All right. Well, that's fun. Um, this little base here... Well, it's a base. I think we keep the base just as it is, and we try to... I don't know, but... Uh, ooh, can we move this fortress is the question. Altitude. Yeah... It seems that this is actually an air fort. So that's cool. Well, I guess we shouldn't be um, up in the air, really. And, well, I don't, of course, really know. But I think it's best if we stay, let this base be, so we can basically use it later on. And what is this? Interact to spawn vehicle and fortresses. Uh, zero of five, what? Zero of five. Oh. Um, I tried to spawn. I have built Generalen and Lily Black. Lily Black is a fast ship that uh, didn't become so fast. And Generalen is an in-progress something ship. Um, spawn distance, hold for this time. And yeah. And hopefully it will load the Generalen for me. And here we can move the fortress and here we have the AI mainframe. Interesting. 
control card. Fortress controls card. And yeah, okay, it's the whole thing. Um, well, I hope it uh, can do its stuff. Oh man, I don't really know. But, uh, well, this is a cool turret. And maybe now we can actually link up uh, a AI turret to Generalen. And it seems that it takes very long time um, for us to construct as we have dropped our um, resources. So I guess we will just uh, wait a bit. But off screen. Oh well, it seems like a really fun game anyways, and uh, I don't know very much. Um, there is the build mode, I can show you that. If we go, oops, we was in build mode. Uh, if I build, I can like uh, do the regular voxel based game. But actually, when you find the location you want to build at, you press uh, F3 again. And then you will get up the, let's see here, just wood block, the, this, uh, yeah, the specially made build mode for From the Depth. And it's actually quite competent um, now that you, I kind of understand it, but it's still a bit hard as uh, it's very unused to, you feel a bit trapped. But when you get a hang of it, it's very fast to use. So, but for looking around, uh, of course, the regular uh, voxel build function is more easy. It's a rather cool game. I have never tried a campaign before, so this is the first time we start a campaign. I just uh, try to understand how to build some stuff in the build mode. Yeah. Shall we just let it load Generalen and then we continue? So, I left the game and let it do its own thing. Thought at home this is gonna take time, so I uh, went and I cooked some dinner and I ate it and I come back with the whole base destroyed and everything gone. So we're here at a new, um, new thing. And, uh, well, I want to show you some building of the game, because, well, this is a voxel game, so it's a quite a rather large part of the game. So, if I press, you can see here are missiles, and this is, this is a very, very, very con, com, cos, hmm, com, cosmos, mm, mm. so, I lost the word, but, uh, well, um, in Swedish it's anpassningsbart, if that helps you. Um, but anyways, here we can, like, see. We can change this uh, missile's uh, compartions, like, thing by thing. So we see it's a infrared seeker, explosive fins. Alright, and we know it's a seeker missile. We have four of those, and... Uh, well, I don't know where I wanted to come with uh, that, but uh, now somebody calls me. Uh, well, thing is, uh, we have a new campaign and I wanted to show you some basis of basics of the game. Of course, this is a pre-made boat. We can see here, we have the engines and we have a rudder and they are actually not connected physically to uh, the engine, which is hidden somewhere inside, we can press P to make all box small, so we can see good. And here we can see um, there is a injector, and we have cylinders, and we have crankshafts, and then we have the well engine main block. I don't know what to call it. I don't know actually what it is as it feels like yeah, the rest of the stuff is the engine but um, and here we have some resources but this little thing anyways uh, makes up the engine and here we have some ammo and what is this? metal ammo created per batch okay we create apparently ammunition 
by having these on. Alright, and we have fuel and we have lots of stuff. And in here is mystery what is. I actually think this ship doesn't have a uh, um, thing that will make it float by rather it floats by its own raw uh, wood power because wood floats you know um, well we should be <laughs> I want to show you the game and you must excuse me that I'm a bit unused to it um, let's install an air pump an air pump will make us uh, actually float and we can see here uh, 32 cubic meters not breached now we can see there is no more it should be no more water in our boat anyways but uh, well we have now increased our floating power I believe uh -huh. so our ship disappeared and then I magically got it back but uh, I don't know why it disappeared but now our rudder is dead and uh, well we're basically dead for your information oh no it would have helped if we would have, uh, well, understood why our ship was gone. And now, I believe we died. Can we warp in some way? Is now the question. Okay, I got it. Apparently, you can like despawn stuff without having them being despawned. Um, just so that they will create less lag. Um, and apparently our stuff got kind of spawned or something. Um, so then it's out of play. It still does its thing, but it's like not usable. Warp to this out of play force and travel with it. Can we warp? Oh, what is this? Now this is special. So so I don't ba I basically don't know what I'm doing. But that's okay. Um cannot function. We sit in a what do we sit in? Oh well I guess it's good to be inside. We hide away here. And we go into build mode. Like this. Because apparently there are fleets incoming. Which is rather not nice. And uh, these are coming from that way. So we shall do another turret. Here maybe. Here is an engine. And uh, then we go into new object to access turret somewhere like there. And then we go into, well, basically wood block. Now let's see here custom cannons. So these are the custom cannons, they are also available advanced cannons. And, well, those, I tell you are pretty advanced. Six way connectors and we will have some one suppression barrel maybe well it's stationary so we might as well have a quite big cannon and we should have some motor driven barrels for well increased aiming or faster aiming. And then we should have just for the funds we should have some gouge increase to make this a heavier weapon. Now we should find some auto loaders and find a oh I actually thought we could connect them to the six-way connectors, but apparently, well, we can. Alright. Then maybe we can... Alright. I thought this was the automatic. 
Maybe we should select automatic. Okay, uh, autoloader, manual orientation. That's the wrong button. And there we have it. Fantastic. And I'm of course used to building with a regular voxel <laughs> structure, so I do that for now. And we can connect them up like this. We should have some extra ammo supply on the side here. Uh, we should actually have some ammo boxes within this hull here. No, not those ammo boxes. Rather like ammo ammo boxes, ammo processor. Let's have a ammo processor, that could be nice. So here we have an ammo processor. Metal utes per batch. And maybe that will be good. And we have some ammo barrels. Let's use the barrel. We'll just place a few here, so we can have some extra. I don't know how much we should have. Have they arrived? They haven't. Alright, then we will continue building. If we may. Alright, now we got it. And we are a bit stressed here, so we will not bother with learning the other crafting system. We will just try to strap on some basic wood armor for this poor turret that we have created. Because I just looked on the, on the map and it seems like our enemy <laughs> is coming soon. So that's really fun. Um, I assume we will die this time too, uh, considering that we can understand how to remove those that... yeah. Our ship got removed if last time, but it wasn't actually removed. It was like semi removed because it's the anti lag uh, stuff game feature that did that. Oh well. Um, this is a slightly asymmetrical. It's quite asymmetrical. Uh, turret thing. And hopefully, it will pack some punch if we go out to build mode oh um, we can't use it so let's here it is then we will go into can we increase our altitude maybe well not from here well from here anyways here we can control a turret I just realized a slight problem we will need to have a firing piece. And... No stress. Custom cannons, predictor. And... Let's have the predictor there, maybe. Now we don't get a signal. So... We will begin to have it this way. And then we need to have it on the connector. So we need to dig some air in our nice turret. Ah, is that the one? No, it's not. Okay. This is the what? Okay, where on the firing piece? Can we have it on? Will it work then? Yes, it will work. Good. Um, then we shall go in and find some of our wood blocks again. And fill this up. Then we also should go and have some metal blocks. Because armor, you know. As long as we can afford them, we should have a little shield of metal on this, I believe would be rather splendid. Alright. They are coming around the corner, it seems. So, we will continue... We will start the test fire shot. And I pressed the wrong button. I'm... Excuse me. 
Um, fleet blockaded. Would you like to view this fleet? Home sweet home on the map and consider starting a battle with your enemies. No. No! They removed it! Damn you! Arr! Ah! Oh. So. Now. What do we do? Um, Take up this map and we need to... No? Come on! Ah! Damn it! Spawn yourself! And have this in... We set game speed to very slow while we think. Leave this fleet without a flagship. Warp to this force. Can you please... Like, respawn this for me? Okay, so I don't remember what this feature is called. It's like out of play. And I can't use my cannons, damn it. How do we... I, not, I just need to check this on the internet. Alright, apparently... When... Oh, where is our avatar? Now this is very nice. This is very fancy. So we have to spawn inside this. Damn it, get out! Now this is very panicky when you try to... And you don't really know the controls. Alright, get out of this seat, dammit. We need to get our gun. Oh, wow. This is exciting. So, apparently our screen got back when we started... Oh, here's an airplane. Our screen got back when we just began to... Come on. Yes. When the battle begins. Because you set an option when the battle begins, apparently. Oh, I don't know what is my... Oh, there is my custom cannon. Alright. No, we fire too high. Okay, we'll need to get this a bit... Uh, here is ours. We're the one that's bad at aiming. And... I guess that one is pretty wasted. But I'm not sure. No, it's not. Okay. And we try to fire again. Come on. Oh. I wish you could color this. Because I hard to see which is me and which is the AI. Take that, damn it. Excellent. Wow, this is actually ki kind of a cool mood. I don't know if it's pretty wasted or not. Now it's returning. Let's fire some at this other guy that nobody cares about. Like this. Okay. I guess it will be more convenient to basically like this. Aha! We got an actual hit. Now this is a bit harder than one might believe. Whoa! What is that cannon? It's huge! We must shoot that down. It's have ramming stuff on it. I have no idea how we should be able to take this one out. Come on. I feel like we have been arming very badly. It does not feel like we will <laughs> manage this. Come on. Die already. Wow, we have a so small cannon. Okay, come on. 
we might need to be smart and try to shoot. I don't know what we should shoot out. And what? Wow. And he's ramming. Oh man. Man, that was some damage. And that turret is still doing the AI stuff. On the uh, the plane, rather. Okay. So yeah, I'd say we're pretty wasted. Rather, we're just gone this far, but maybe uh, it's our first part of the campaign when we actually understand the kind of understand the control at least. So we will. I don't know what's important. Maybe we can find the engine somewhere or something. Aha! Here we got some important stuff. Yes! Even though I highly feel that we have a underpowered system. And the repair stuff is kind of. kind of good. So our AI is... And we started to hover. I guess that's kind of good. I probably accidentally pressed some buttons in pure time. I guess. Okay, now this one. We should take this one out already. I'm amazed it still can fly. So, we might survive our first battle, maybe. We'll see about that, but... Uh, the AI seem to know its stuff. We certainly don't. Wow, now we get some light. Um, so, okay. Um, apparently, my disk drive got full and the recording stopped. Excuse me very much for that, but basically what happened that we got totally wrecked, we missed all the shots we could possibly get away, and the AI turret eventually took out all the other things. And I don't know really how they did how it did that, but just all of a sudden all the remaining ships kind of disappeared and we won the battle. However, now our base kind of looks like this. It was kind of an even fight between those AIs. And now there is coming another great fleet. And I'm like, I don't think I will make this uh, first try on the campaign. This is, as you understand, the first time I ever go into the campaign. I just di did a few build moods before to... Um, not be too confused, even though I must have failed. But um, I guess this will make it as a first look of From the Depth, and I will likely be playing this much more. And well, thank you very much again, Super Scarab, for giving me this game for Christmas. Um, and I'm sorry that I'm so late with trying it out, but. Um, Either I will start to play this game for videos right away, or I will um, wait for the game to develop a bit more. I have not decided, but I will play the game. Uh, and now we seem to be really uh, close to extinction. So, thank you very much for watching. Jimrism, Total Nerdy Channel, out.